Hey everyone, Mama Seven and Blessed here. Just making this video on my faux locks. These faux locks were created with yarn. Yep, yarn. Regular acrylic yarn I purchased from Walmart. Red Heart acrylic yarn. What you will need is a comb, scissors, um, moisturizer, which is in here is um, mane and tail conditioner with hot water and Jamaican black castor oil. Now, how I prepped how I prepped my hair before I did these was I I deep conditioned my hair. Um, this is an old um, container I got from the beauty supply store with um, like a gel that I purchased, and I mixed um, my conditioner. I always mix my conditioners with oils, so like vitamin E, olive oil, things like that save an old container, mix it in together. So I deep conditioned my hair, co-washed it, um, and moisturized. My moisturizer um, that I used after I co-washed my hair is this um, tea tree cream I got for $4.99 at my local beauty supply store um, by Hollywood Beauty. Um, looks like this. It has kind of a thick consistency um one of my favorites though before this this is number two my first one my first choice would be um the Cantu shea butter um can't the Cantu shea butter moisturizer leave-in conditioner that one is great but i couldn't get it at that time my budget so this is what i purchased and it actually came with um this soap this tea tree soap i threw away the box but it doesn't really have a strong smell but it's a good soap for your skin it's soap in your skin you can even use it on your face so see if you have it at your local beauty supply store because the soap does come free with this so i moisturized my hair in section with that um and what i did it was i um cut my yarn into these long pieces cut my yarn and then what I did was I sectioned off my hair which I have some which I already braided sectioned off my hair in squares and I braided it which I should have done for you guys but I just decided to make this video so that you could see how it is done so I'm going to take this one braid out for you. I'm sorry, I should have had it out already. But some people twist it in, some people braid it in. And I'm just taking it out very easy. This is just to show you how when you do unravel your faux lock set. You don't have to be rough. You can just slide your fingers through. You can even wet it. Spray a little conditioner on it to loosen it or put a little oil. Rub a little oil. Slide it out. Okay. So here's my hair. So, what you do is spray, get it nice and moist because it's yarn, so you know that your hair will soak up, that the yarn will soak up some of the moisture also. So, you do that. Now, I use Eco Styler Gel.
This is um, equal to all gel. It was two for five for the big ones. I got the argan. I got the um, argan oil one, and this is the olive oil one. And I put that on my ends. And then take it and braid. And what I do is I braid until I get to where my hair ends. So, I know y'all probably wondering what's that on my hand. These are my little tattoos. Of course, those who don't know, I'm from New York. I'm from Queens. Um, that's where my tattoos are. Um, now, I take, okay, I use four pieces for this. I'm sorry. I use four pieces to braid this one down, and I'm going to use four pieces to wrap also. And um, so what I'm doing is taking it like this. Okay, make sure you see it. Taking it like this. And I begin to wrap. You hold the ends down because I'm going to wrap these short, set, or short ends also. I'm going to wrap, 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 wrap. If the short piece gets, piece gets out, just grab it back into the stationary piece and just continue to wrap. And as you wrap it, it should look like this. So yeah, that is just my video on how to do full locks. As you continue wrapping, try not to make this video too long. As you continue wrapping, and a lot of people say they like the way they look, but they don't like to do it because it's very time consuming which it is. Um, I have a lot of clients, so I had to stop and do their hair. Um, I had to stop and do their hair. So, you know, like, I'll get to mine when I get to mine. So, I think I have like three more to wrap and I should be done. But anyway, continue to wrap. Continue to wrap. You can also push up, but you want to make sure they, these are like this as you're wrapping. And you're pretty much taking your finger and helping it along for it to stay in its space.
to allow and belong. We want it to be. I know it seems like it takes forever, but you know, mine's are kind of a decent length. So, I mean, I don't want them all even because that's not how real dreads look anyway. Most real dreads aren't, a lot of people's dreads aren't all even. I kind of want to have that real effect, that real look. So now I'm getting down to the end. And you can take from some of the longer pieces and continue to wrap. And then what I'll do is take the one, wrap it around, tie it. Right, make sure it's tight. Take it. Knot it. And cut as close to the knot as you can so that you're left with this type of end. Let it cool off before you do what I just said. And yeah, that's a cool lot. So they are kind of tight from the twisting and the friction on your scalp. So what I did was I mixed oils, olive oil, vitamin E, castor oil, all the good oils for your hair. Yes, and an old sriracha bottle that was soaked out. Put, put it in here like this so that my scalp won't be irritated. Um, I just continue to rub it in my scalp because, like I said, because of the friction, your hair is going to be a little sore. Especially those who are tender headed. The oil is a great relief for your scalp. And you can massage it in or pat it in, whichever works for you. So I'll be back with more videos on these faux locks how to style them, um, hair jewelry, and the pros and cons of yarn full locks and um, the Marley ones. All right, till then, have a blessed day.